I think I was fortunate to have lots of people uh, uh, have an influence and take an interest in my career. Um, which is probably too many to mention, but uh, I don't know. I would say my dad was an early, uh, he wasn't in the industry. He wasn't really in business. He was a military guy, but, uh, you know, teaching discipline was always important. But in terms of the industry itself, I would say, uh, you know, I started my career at Candarell and people like Jonathan Weiner, um, and uh, I spent a lot of time at Oxford. And so John Love are two people that were always entrepreneurial, uh, good leaders, good visionaries, and uh, people that took an interest uh, in me. So I would say uh, the two Jonathans. I wouldn't say I had one role model. Um, I was fortunate enough um, in the business growing up in the 90s to watch people persevere in really tough times. Um, where real estate was not as in much demand. Commercial real estate market was in a state of flux. There was a lot of oversupply, not a lot of demand. Institutional money wasn't chasing real estate. Interest rates were higher. So to persevere and kind of grow and build a company through those days, there were a lot of different people that really struck me as, as really growing their companies in a smart and prudent manner. I mean, if you look at some of the bigger names, Michael Cooper, who's done it through Dream, uh, John Love, who I did a lot of work with as an advisor and a broker, um, two stalwarts in the industry have really stood out. Uh, there's many more names. There's a group, you know, there's groups like Daniel Drimmer of Starlight today, who um, is more my vintage, but he is he is a man that just continues to grow his residential portfolio. And and you know, you look at the Slate guys who are are, are really ambitious and growing their portfolio worldwide. There's so many strong Canadian. Um, real estate stalwarts that I, I, I admire. And, and so, you know, I'm fortunate enough to have association with some of them and they really help inspire me in my business. What jumps to mind is my father. I was very lucky, I think, to have one of the best dads and moms for that matter. Uh, you can't pick your parents. I just feel very fortunate just what they were able to do instill in us as a family. I'll never forget it. I feel very lucky. On the business side, I had a couple of very great friends, um, you know, between Blake Hutchison, John Sullivan, two great friends, two role models. I love how they lead their lives. So I would put them both in the top category. First and foremost, I'm gonna say my role model is really my parents. My parents were immigrants coming to Canada, extremely hardworking, very focused on advancing certainly the lives of, of their children. And so I think they gave, they gave me the work ethic that I think is important today. And when I look to a leader and they show work ethic and the ability to relate with their staff, and not only that, but to, keep, to, to have a strategy, to communicate that strategy, um, that's going to be, that's an important role model to me. And I've had a few of those in my career, uh, but I probably won't name names right now. <laughs>